we know how to design systems for resilience. And one of the important capabilities, enabling capabilities, is the intelligence, or what we call cyber, because we need real-time interaction to more rapidly prepare ourselves to overcome uh, imminent danger to our survival as a civilization. So we have the solutions, and by cyber augmentation, we can augment our systems, meaning help them to be better and help them to augment. And we sometimes say integration was a big issue in the previous century. It still is a big issue. We need to integrate to make sure that we have all the necessary components and information and capabilities at the right time, at the right place. But now we are looking at the word augmentation as the frontier of engineering in general or and industry engineering in particular. So the augmentation can go from the human or individual or animal augmentation to the device augmentation. The cell phone that we have keeps improving because different people are saying, this is not enough for me, this is not sufficient for me, this is obscured for me, this is confusing to me, I have conflicts with that. And people are listening to them and are developing augmentations, what we call augmentations, inside the cell phone system to enable people to work better with it because it has become such a necessary part of our, uh, our uh, daily life. One other small question is, can machines instruct us? This is an important question. I, I understand most people will answer that, of course, wh whatever we do, we Google, we learn from it, machines instruct us. That's obvious. But if we are working with a machine, suppose we are working on telemedicine, platform. Can the machine instruct the physician? Can the machine instruct the nurse? What we talked about before, augmenting the knowledge of a nurse when she's facing a current need by a given individual patient, and she has or he has a certain amount of knowledge and experience, we want to prevent errors. So we want the machine, and I'm using the word machine, it could be a computer, it could be a cloud, it could be an IoT, an iOS, it could be cyber, some intelligence, maybe from another nurse, maybe from a team of nurses that specialize in it in Chile. And they have that knowledge and experience, or maybe it was in Taiwan, and they have that knowledge and they want to share it because civilization depends on sharing and interacting and optimizing the interaction by bringing it to that nurse wherever she is or he is and giving them what they need for the given situation at the right time, just in time and just in need. So again, just in time is not sufficient for us. And the availability on Google is also not sufficient for us. We need it only when we need it and we need the correct one that we can trust. Do we trust what Google brings us?